Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to the shop. Got a familiar job here today. This is a Hamilton recast Cummins head for a pulling application. And I've milled off the intake over here. This was a cast like stock. And milled it off so they can bolt their intake plenum onto the side of it. And got that done. And in the process of doing that, a lot of times this. Uh, the stress that's in the casting will relieve and you'll get some warpage out of it and there's about three thou dip over here like around this number four or five cylinder uh, so I'm gonna plane the bottom of this off also it's a little rougher uh, surface finish than what I would like to see uh, the feed rate they were running I'm going to say it's probably got a half thou raise in between the lows and the highs ripple and this will have a steel fire ring that seals against this deck face so I like to have it nice and flat so that there's not a half a thousandth variance on top of a piece of steel that's trying to seal thousands of pounds of combustion pressure so uh, let's take the warp out and get this surface finish a lot better on here and should be good to go after that and they can get this put back together and start getting their engine built for this season so we fire the Cincinnati mill up some of you might might think it was uh, not getting used but it's still been getting plenty of use so let me fire it up and we'll mow this off real quick
clean up yet. That's where the warpage came out. I was right when I said I measured that with between four and five. Got a low spot. So I have to take a little bit more off to get that out. So take another pass. Nice and looks good to me, so I'm going to call this uh, another completed project. This is ready to go back to the customer. So, hope you enjoy getting to see this little racing park get uh, tuned up a little bit. And it should be a good piece now. So, thanks for watching. Probably go over a little on this setup here. Of course, I'm running this sideways on the mill because the table rock uh, won't translate into the surface. Also, this allows me to clamp this down uh, in a direction that isn't the deck surface. You know, there's no force going this way, so I'm not bowing this part. And I've got the clamps located over top of the supports underneath, down here. So that the force is directly through it. And again, I'm not bowing and distorting this, because you don't want to warp the head in the process of machine it because then when you unbolt it it'll be all out of whack so well it'll still be flat when you unbolt it off the mill so i would set this up to do it i do this job fairly frequently and uh, it's pretty much the same on all cylinder heads just don't want to get uh, any twist in them or bow as you're setting them up so that they stay flat when you unbolt them and just keeping the forces in line is all you have to do there pretty much and uh, be sure that you're not applying forces in the direction that you're trying to mill on or it'll be crooked. There it is old up and back in the box. And thanks for subscribing. I'll catch y'all later.